and it was extremely difficult and you know he didn't understand. Karen Hausman helps Jake eat, move, even go to the bathroom. In 2014, Jake Ahal Mix was paralyzed after he was shot in the neck while he was walking in his front yard. Eric Hillard is charged with animal cruelty. Nothing has been done as far as his freedom is concerned. Jake has lost all of his. It's been more than two years since Jake was shot and paralyzed. His family tells me the court case is still pending. As the housemen's wait for answers, they're hopeful others who see animal cruelty happen report it. Under the North Carolina Attorney General's Animal Welfare Hotline, people can call, email, or submit a complaint. It's a wonderful idea because a lot of people don't know who to call. In less than two years, Rowan County investigators have prosecuted a case where a woman duct taped her dog. They've investigated another where animal control says a Landis woman nearly starved her horses to death. One didn't survive. We do see a lot of uh, abandonment and cruelty cases. Lexington veterinarian Dr. Greg Hedrick says he sees cases all the time through Gender's Fund in Davidson County. You get to the root of the problem and maybe transfer it down to the different counties. The Attorney General's office will review complaints. Sometimes the local law enforcement, they get so busy and tied up, they don't have time to handle a lot of these cases. And then refer them to the proper authorities. A new way to notify the state that an animal is being abused. One that could help a hurting animal find a safe home. In Rowan County, Carly Stevenson, Time Warner Cable News.